So yeah, I appreciate you getting that context into um, what's been established so far. I guess I first want to thank um, Black Lives Matter Toronto for entirely being responsible for the inquest into Andrew Lokusev. Um, I mean, I guess you touched on this a little bit, Mr. Pringle, but I have concerns about the establishment of this committee um, and the transparency with which this committee will be established. Um, especially, um, I don't know if you volunteered to be the chair, the co-chair of this, or you were elected as the co-chair of this committee. Um, but I would love to know a lot more about how um, your role on this committee came to be. Um, I definitely, you know, have concerns about this, the vagueness of the recommendations of the establishment of this uh, anti-racism committee. Um, given that this service and this board and the Toronto Police Association have not demonstrated a willingness or ability to listen um, and take action on community concerns, especially around race, around race. Um, we've seen the dismissal of community concerns repeatedly over the past few months, especially in relation to the school resource officer uh, program and the, the community concerns around that. Um, and not to mention, you know, into the, the death of Andrew Loku to begin with. Um, so I think that, um, you know, I think that I have, yeah, definite concerns about your own role on this uh, committee as the co-chair and how um, the selection committee, the selection of this committee will take place. Um, I also have questions uh, and concerns about how the board overall is expected to implement effective anti-racist strategies, um, especially when this, this Toronto Police Service is currently being investigated by the Ontario Human Rights Commission for practices of, of anti-black racism and racial profiling. Um, and, you know, I do think that it is a theme that the Toronto Police Service does not seem to be cooperating um, with the directives, not only from, uh, you know, reporting on what the outcomes of this inquiry have recommended, but also with, you know, as we know, with the human rights um, inquiry as well. Um, this board has a role to be able to establish priorities and objectives, especially to combat racism, um, anti-black racism specifically, and anti-indigenous racism, and then the, the chief can then operationalize that. So I have, uh, I'm very curious to know how, uh, like what the scope of this committee will be, um, what the timelines will be. I mean, obviously, you know, it's just getting started, but essentially what the selection committee will look like, how people will be brought into this. I can see that there's no financial implications for this recommendation, so are people just expected to volunteer um, for folks who are racialized? I think we all know that that makes it a lot harder for people to participate. Um, so I would like the board to kind of consider, um, you know, maybe the $80,000 of the special fund that was going to go into this SRO. Um, you know, review could maybe be put towards the establishment of this committee and we could, you know, we pay folks for their time to make the Toronto Police Service better. Um, so, yeah, I just have a lot of concerns about that and I wanted to make those known and I think that uh, the public deserves to know how the selection of this, of this committee will be taking place and um, how that's going to be made as accessible as possible to community members.